Well, if you don't die, can you look, can you look down fucking banana? This is Richard. No! Ah, Richard! <laughs> Why? I was introducing you to Richard. Hello and welcome to another video where I spend countless hours building an unpractical practical jeep. In this video, however, we won't be building an unpractical practical jeep. We will be testing this piece of metal against various things. We've got trim clad rust reformer. We've got Cosmoline RP342, the god of all things. We have some test metal, WD-40, gloves, scouring pads, blue tape, and of course we have trisodium phosphate to clean the metal, also known as TSP, and blue towels. Now the whole idea of this test is to see which one of these products holds up against rust the best, holds up against outside weather and everything like that. This will be a one year test. Yes, this will be a one year test to see which one of these products, including just bare steel, holds up the best against corrosion. Salt, rain, snow, dirt, everything like that. I'm going to paint this piece of metal and I'm going to put it someplace where snow and everything can get a hold of it and uh, we'll see what happens in one year's time. Okay, first things first, we got some TSP diluted, we'll just spray it on, quickly wipe it off to see what we get. Pretty dirty right off the bat. Now let's do that again. And this time with a scouring pad, we'll just scratch it up a little bit. Simply wipe that off. Now we'll get the edges. I'm not gonna bother doing the back side. There we go. We'll flip this over and we'll go one last time. Make sure this metal is nice and clean. Okay, metal's nice and clean. I'm gonna make sure my hands are clean. Then I'm gonna tape this up and we'll take it outside for paint. So here's what we have. Oh, fuck. So here is the showdown. Here's what we have. Trem clad rust reformer in flat black. It's said to work very well. I guess we'll see. Cosmoline RP342. This stuff is the cat's ass. So I've been told. And regular WD-40. It's a bit of a greasy film. So we'll see if it lasts. Over here is our test piece. I've gone and labeled everything. On the, on the, on the left, we have the control. So that will be non-painted. Right next to that is the trim clad rust reformer. Next to that is the rust reformer plus the RP-342 acting as a top coat. Right beside that is just the Cosmoline RP-342. And right next to that is going to be WD-40. You can see it right there. The instructions are basic for all of these. Make sure the area is dry, don't put it on too heavy. For the Cosmoline RP-342, I've got a sheet here. Make sure the area is reasonably clean and dry. Spray thin uniform film. If you want to do another one, do it within 30 minutes. I'm just going to do one coat. WD-40, spray it on. All right, we're going to start with the trim clad rust reformer. And since I'm doing two areas, I'm going to spray these both right now. It's my first time using this stuff. I'm excited. Finally, some WD-40. Okay, I sprayed these on really, really heavy, so hopefully that proves better than worse. Okay, it's been about a half an hour. Finally, let's apply the RP-342 to that coat of Tremclad Rustic. Oops. 
This, by the way, combination of Tremclad Rust Reformer and Cosmoline RP342 is the exact combination I'm doing on the frame of the Rover 1 project, the Jeep YJ frame. So hopefully this turns out really good or else I've wasted eight weeks of my time fixing up this frame. Now all we have to do is let that dry and sit for a year somewhere, somewhere in the snow, in the rain, in the sun and everything, and we'll see where it goes. Just to recap, this is the control. There's absolutely nothing on there except a little bit of overspray from the Tremclad Rust Reformer. Next to that is just the Tremclad Rust Reformer. Next to that is the Tremclad Rust Reformer and Cosmoline RP342. Next to that is just the Cosmoline RP342. And next to that is just WD-40. And as promised, we're going to coat half of that leaf spring with the Cosmoline RP342. Currently, right now, half of the full leaf spring is Tremclad Rust Reformer. Now, we're going to coat half of half the leaf spring with RP342. And since I'll be driving this thing around in the wintertime, it'll serve as a better test to see if you need to top coat with this stuff or if you're just good enough using the Tremclad. Are you ready? That should do the trick. Now we'll see rust bubbles here and we won't hear, or we will hear and we won't hear, or we will in both spots. Only time will tell. So I'm trying to come up with ideas where to put this stick of metal. It's gonna live somewhere for a year. And I thought, why don't I just screw it to one of the city trees here? And then I thought, wait, no, the city will throw a hissy fit and they'll come and ask me to remove it. So then I saw my dad's 1980 trailer. It often gets used in the wintertime sometimes. It gets sprayed with snow. It lives right here next to the street. I think it's the perfect spot. Snow, rain, mud, water, all that kind of stuff is gonna be hitting this piece of metal. So let's go make some holes in it and fasten it to the trailer. I'm gonna do that with this step bit by Milwaukee, also known as just take all of your money forever. And there's this conveniently placed hole here. And we'll stick that over there. And I will Drill a hole right into this, here. Okay, and there it will live for the remainder of its journey, one year journey. It is on the front of this trailer, which usually follows the back of this Jeep, which conveniently is here now. Now what are we missing? We are missing today's date. Today is the 30th of August. So on the 30th of August, 2020, is when one year will be. And we'll see where this is at. I will update you guys every three months. I'll make just a short update video. I'll come out here and see how it's doing, see what's rusting, see what isn't, see if any rust bubbles are coming up, etc., etc. And stay tuned because all this stuff will be on Instagram. So here's an interesting observation. Check this out. That is the control piece, and it's already flash rusting. Nothing there, nothing there, nothing there. This is the piece with WD-40. That's all it is, and there is nothing on there. Isn't that cool? Hey, if you made it this far, I just wanna say a few more things. Thank you for tuning into this build. The Rover One has been an amazing inspiration to me, to a few other people, and I cannot wait to keep doing it. Number two, if you want to know more about the Rover One or more about me, Instagram's in the description. Number three, 5,000 subscriber special. It's going to be amazing. I'm not telling you what it is, but part two of it is I'm going to launch a Discord chat specifically for the Rover One. So if you want to tune in, share some ideas, or just play some video games with me, feel free. Last thing, there's the Rover One playlist. There is my most recent video, and there's that subscribe button. So thank you guys, and until further news, I shall talk to you later.